Thursday, June 22, 2017, Dell City, Oklahoma, 12.52 a.m. A man in a baseball hat strolls into a backyard and unzips the door to a tent. What is he doing here? It all looks pretty innocent at first. I mean, maybe it's just a dad checking on his kids, camping out at night. It looks totally normal and calm at first. But it quickly becomes obvious to the homeowners that there is nothing innocent about this. So this guy doesn't belong here. He doesn't live here. It turns out that this is a 33-year-old man who has been communicating by text with the 15-year-old girl who lives in the home. She told him that he was gonna, she was going to be camping in her backyard that Friday and that he should come over. Whatever the teen thinks is going to happen, the man has come here for only one very disturbing reason. He came over to have sex in her backyard with a 15-year-old girl. It's just wrong. I mean, it's wrong. It's all really sickening. And what this man doesn't know is that he's in for a big surprise. The dad has gotten wind of his plan, and he's decided to do something about it. My dad was extremely uh, irate, as he should be. I have two daughters that age, and, and I, would, I would feel the same way as he did. He was very, very upset. The dad is so upset, he arranges an elaborate family sting operation. The father puts together an ad hoc posse of individuals who are going to deal with this guy. They had it all set up, and he didn't have a chance. As the man leans down to unzip the tent, expecting to find the teen, he has no idea that her mom is the one waiting inside. And he never sees her dad and two other family members as they sneak up behind and tackle him. He didn't see them, and they took him to the ground. But now, what's going to happen? They don't know anything about this guy. You got to think, if, if the suspect would have had a firearm, you just never know with, with, with people like that. You just you don't know what they're bringing to the table. You don't know what they have on them. And with emotions running so high, what is the family going to do with him next? One of the reasons why vigilantism can get pretty dangerous is you're dealing with the unknown. You're not a trained professional. Somebody can get very seriously hurt or killed. When emotion takes over and that desire to intervene and exact perhaps even a little bit of revenge, it can get very dangerous. Especially when they find out the shocking truth about just who this guy really is.